All right. Cool. Well, yeah. I mean, we don't have to... We know it's... There's probably nothing there. Hopefully. Mmm, <laughs> let's go back to... Wasn't there something else that we... Ooh, maybe we're ready to fight that Levercon now, do you think? Maybe. There's some expedition there. And who's here? Broden. We gotta go back to Broden. Let's. Because I might unlock some new quests. Safe travels! That's so. <laughs> if Mildred's happy, I'm happy. She said you've got a world to see. <laughs> she just wants an excuse to travel. But I am overdue for a vacation. Think I've been working myself too hard lately. Rest would do you good. What is this terrible scent? It's reminiscent of Hojo's lab. <laughs> It's time. Time to go. To leave. See, his eyes are really obvious when they show him like that. W where do you want to go? You okay? It's just the degradation. Every soldier's got to make their peace with it. Oh! Now you know why I can't see any old doctor. You're a soldier too, aren't you? Ex-soldier, actually. Didn't mean to scare you. The symptoms aren't always the same. And who knows? You might be one of the lucky ones. Right. Just don't take your youth for granted. All right? You only get one shot at life. And you can't let Shinra take it from you. You can't let them win. Breaking news at this hour. Avalanche. Degradation. I left the service to keep this place and my parents' memory alive. I'll be damned if I lose it too because of this illness. Need to rest. Get my strength up so I can see Mildred's win. People love to spread rumors about soldiers. Don't you pay them any mind. Degradation. I heard the rumors of oh, I'm sorry, that was... Shoot. People love to spread... I left the service Wait, to keep show me that one again. Need to rest. I left the service to... No, the one about the degradation. I'd heard the rumors about cellular degradation, but didn't believe them. Didn't want to believe him till I had no choice. Cellular degradation. Security forces. Is that the stuff that Genesis was going through? You know the thing that made even his shirt, his jacket was degrading for some reason, alongside his person. <laughs> oh, but it makes sense though because Mako, Mako is like. You're, it's almost like taking a little bit of power from something that where you shouldn't be. And that's the price you pay for it. You get a lot of power when you're young, but it'll catch up with you eventually. She's late. Too late. Or am I here too early? Was getting here a day ahead of time over A little bit. A little bit. carried away with this whole proposal business, but the weekly horoscope was crystal clear. I believe that seems to be it for now. If we go back to the region map, we have a... Mm, it says regional data accumulated on the bottom right. You have a um, bit of a look at how how much stuff we've seen so far. So we've seen the Proto Relic. We did it all in one go. <laughs> we have two more Life Springs. We have two more Summon Crystals. And then three more combat assignments. I think that's the bulk of what's around here. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, these ones here? Because I haven't been to this area at all yet. Can I go there? Can I cross a bridge? Is that a thing? Or do I have to go from, like, this side? Fiend Intel number six. I want, I'm want. i trying to go in order because I feel like it'll probably be related to the difficulty. If we keep going increasingly, that'll be... Oh, but I did the, I did the hardest one already. Okay, I guess in that case it doesn't really matter. All right. Sure. And we still have the combat simulator. Haven't really touched it yet. At all. Hmm. Autocast materia. They seem to want me to buy all of it. Okay. Alright, alright. Well, the grassy sides, I don't see any more icons. There's some gray areas. I'll leave it alone for now if I have to, um, go around it just to, um, 
get it to not look gray. Sure, I can do that later on. But for now, maybe... Let's go to this one. Yeah. Voltaic Canine. I smell fiends. Rare grasslands wolf variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. See the way that its mane stands on end? The electricity coursing through its body Where is and keeping it? its hair upright is the product of overexposure to Mako. This has oh. also contributed to a significant increase in aggression, oh, hi. agility, and speed. <gasps> In fact, eyewitnesses report that it is capable of catching prey with lightning quickness. By studying this predator's hunting habits, perhaps we too will be able to develop swifter, more efficient ways of felling fiends. Now hurry and collect our data before that nimble wolf gets the best of you. We haven't been doing our SP and stuff. Maybe we should be doing it before we talk to these guys. By the way, very, very kind of you to just, you know, let me walk around you so closely. And you're still not caring. Is this where the... Ah, this is the assess data, right? I think so, yeah. We can see... No, I didn't assess Burke! No! Damn it! Okay, we're never opening this menu again, because I don't want to... I don't want to see it. <laughs> okay, hold up. Not combat settings. Upgrade weapons? I don't think I've done that... Oh, the SP... I don't think we can... Yeah, I, I gotta go back and do that folio stuff. But it's not here. We have to do it at the machine. Okay. Hi. I believe in you. Kiss my ass. Now. Get up! I got your number. Rare grasslands wolf variants that mutated due to prolonged Mako exposure, likely caused by leaks in the pipeline. Electricity courses through their bodies, allowing them to more effectively stun prey. No weaknesses. Wait, inflicting detrimental status effects on them will pressure them. Detrimental status effects? Not a elemental effect. Can we do that? Do we have anything that can do that? Uh, I can't even see what people... What materia does everyone have? It's on you. Follow my lead. Didn't I think we have poison on red 13, right? Can we do that? Bio. Poison an enemy. Right in pain. Is that a thing? That's it. Oh there we go. Fantastic. Yeah. Steel skin is reducing damage. Don't need that for now. Maximum fury. No no no. Thunder's probably not a good idea here. Oh, we have a time limit. We got it. Yeah. Cosmos, answer me. Weapon ability mastered. Damn, red. Let's do this. We good. Hey, get back here. Oh, that's it. Battle objectives completed. I knew you had it in you. Way to go. Fantastic. Now I feel better. I feel like we can probably do the lever con now. Or the ag aggressive con or whatever it was called. Cloud. Cloud! I see that you completed that challenge with grace and panache. Don't you know it's rude to interrupt? Why? I didn't know such thing. <sighs> In any case, Cloud, I've analyzed the battle data you sent and constructed a new virtual combat trial. I hope it's to your liking. Maybe we should be looking at some of that and not leaving it to the very end, because otherwise there's going to be a whole bunch of combat simulator stuff all at once. Well, uh, I'll see, I'll see. This is the end. This is it. We can't go any further. But the breakage in the pipe probably means we can wrap down over here and then try to get the other stuff around. There's actually quite a big gray area here. Can we really... Can we get around? I'm kind of curious. Okay, yeah, here. This is where the pipe... We might not be able to get around. 
We can. Perfectly fine. But this area is so big, there can't be nothing here, right? Besides for the icons that we have right now. I feel like there must be some other icons. Divine Intel? Let's... You see, it's suddenly... Maybe because this direction is closer to Midgar. It's getting very, very... Dry and deserty, and not grassy looking yet again. Uh, I have to, I have to strike the sea. According to local legends, Titan possesses earth-shattering strength. He is capable of crushing whole mountains with his fist. Perhaps we have him to thank for the rolling hills and verdant plains that comprise this region of the planet. I still feel like it's kind of disrespectful for us to be knocking that thing down just to get a direction to how to reach this place, but all right. Titan Sanctuary Gamma, I believe. I haven't even summoned Titan. Who has Titan? enough. Data extracted. Hmm, slowly but surely we're getting everything. Ah, this happens every single time. <laughs> Splendid synchronization. Let's hope our investigation of other shrines goes as smoothly. Every time I'm like... Yeah, I'm not gonna do all the the stuff and then end up doing literally everything. <laughs> Every damn time. But hey, it's actually fun this time though, so I don't mind. Now, can we... I think this is it. This is the limit of the place here, but then can we go further out? Because we should be able to go to these three, right? Fiend 3. Oh, maybe we just go across the water, because I think we can go in the water. Well, I'll just see how far I can go. Is this it? Or... Can we go further? Here's the pipe. Ah, oh, buddy, don't get caught on that. It looks like we can... Yeah, we can. Oh! No! This goes back to where... Okay, so this is probably it then. If we want to go over there, we have to cross the swamp, I'm guessing. Or not cross the swamp, but go in the water. How come you don't ask me if I want to be on Chocobo or not? Is it just around this side? If we're crossing the swamp, we'll need to rely on Chocobos. Okay. But even just without chocobos, we can walk on the edge a little bit. There's a bird. Do we care about that bird? What is that bird? Fiends? Random birds. Okay. Is Midgard Summer just sort of around? Yeah, I mean, I guess so. And it's not okay to use a boat. We have to use a chocobo for some reason. Keepers of the burrow. Fiends roam this place. Rare move variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. The ever vigilant move possesses an incredible memory, meaning that once you've trespassed on its territory, it can and will track you down in order to exact revenge. The Moo have a massive underground network through which they exchange information on food sources and predators. Frankly, it rivals Chappie's own network. So don't you be deceived by their adorably twitchy tails and unassuming demeanor. Further analysis of these crafty creatures will no doubt shed light on their communication methods and maybe help us to improve ours as well. 
pressure both fire and ice imbued enemies. I'm trying to see who who is the who has the materia. How do we tell here? We can't tell here, right? We have to open this menu again. Who has what? Aerith has it, right? Aerith has the fire and ice. And so do I. I have the abilities. Okay, so we should be fine then. And then Aerith can get started on working on the proficiency for her new weapon. Which is to do what? Chrono Aegis. Chrono Aegis. Strike an enemy and inflict stop. Raise a barrier that damages and temporarily freezes enemies who attempt to strike you. Okay. Well, let's go. I know this is what you want. Go on. Me. It's just called me. Not a move, but me. Let's do it right. A rare move variant. Tasked with guarding the species' tunnels, keeping an extra watchful eye on those that connect to dangerous areas containing magma or glaciers. Elemental weaknesses? This one's ice. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. This one's ice. Wait. Is it really this one? Ow! Dude! Wait, this one... This one's fire. B. B is fire. That's it. Okay, so that's pressure now. We want to continue staggering it probably, but uh, we can work on this for now. Sure. It's almost. There we go. There we go. And then instead of finishing you off, I'm just gonna go. Come on! Keep it up. A is ice. A is ice. You're mine. There we go. Okay, now we can do whatever we want. Including going back to the one that's been pressured already? Don't overdo it. I'll show you what I can do. Chrono Aegis. Raises a barrier. Protect yourself a little bit. That'll do. That's it. You Ward shift? I gotta get the hang of it. Wait, so synergy abilities. Can anyone do anything yet? Not yet. Help a girl out. Whoa, someone's throwing a gigantic rock. Fire. This ends here. This one's for you. All objectives completed. We've accrued a lot of great data. Thanks to you. Good. We haven't found weapons for Barrett and Tifa yet. I feel like we probably should have found something at this point already. Maybe I have to go back to the shop in Calm, or maybe I gotta look around at the chests more carefully. We did- there were some caches I didn't pick up yet, so... Yeah, or maybe it's around here. Who knows? Let's see. Divine Intel. We'll just continue scouring out this area. It's so... The weather is not nice here. Am I... I'm going further away. Yeah. I should be going... Can I go up? Not from here. Maybe from like... Some bridge area down below. You know? I'm not gonna accidentally cross over to Junon by doing this, right? That's what I'm afraid of. Okay. Alright, alright. So we sure this is safe. No. Heard pockets of the bog are damn near bottomless. Plus, there's that giant man eating serpent. Bill assured us the chocobos could handle it. Have some faith in our feathered friends. Kick it while it's down. The people of the grasslands once believed that earthquakes would occur if they angered Titan. Calm's present day harvest festival most likely originated as a ritual offering of props meant to appease him. Oh my god, why is this not yellow? Give me back my yellow paint. Titan, this area is all about the Titan. 
Oh, where'd you go? You went so fast and I took so long. Right around here. Come here, buddy. Come here! <gasps> Don't fall down. Oh, it's already around the corner. <laughs> That's it. Might have been a little bit off. Good enough! And there you go. But we don't really get to read anything about this. It's just collecting some stuff. Sanctuary Beta. That concludes our analysis of the Grassland Summon Crystals. Thank you. Now Titan will become an even more formidable ally. Congratulations. Ah, though you have yet to obtain the requisite materia, as I recall. Oh, yes, that's right. To confront the divine via the combat simulator. Right, nobody has the titan materia yet because we have to get it via the combat simulator. I'm gonna leave that till the last thing to do, probably. Yeah, last thing to do for this area before doing the whole Junon stuff. And then now we have an excavation thing around here. Well, these castle walls feel kind of medieval and all. Right way? Uh... Not quite. Can I go past like that? This is it. This is it. I've actually dropped down. How do we get there? We have to... continue crossing the swampy place. Oh, that's a weapon. Over there. Oh no! It's Sephiroth. <gasps> what? That easy? Oh, number. Come on. Wait, am I doing the main quest? Is this the main quest? Uh, it's over here. It's a number person. Clearly a number person. I don't even know if they have a name. I just know they're number people. High caliber rifle for Barrett? Eight. Oh, they won't let me change. Okay, not yet. Hey. Does Cloud still see Sephiroth right now? I don't see Sephiroth. Do you? No. I don't. Oh my god, Cloud is being such a crazy weirdo right now. Oh, not this again. <laughs> Can I see the number on your arm? Let's kill him or something. No. What? We can't do anything about him? He just stands here? That's it? But we all saw Sephiroth before, on top of the Shinra building. At that time, we all saw Sephiroth, but now they're seeing numbered people. Okay... Well, I guess we just ignore him. Even Cloud's like, oh, okay. Hmm... <laughs> Not sure we can actually get anywhere from here. Wait, we're... Dangerously close to actually crossing the s the swamp. Oh, oh, look, look, look. There's a breakage here in the bridge. That's what I thought. I didn't think we were supposed to keep going around there like that. That didn't seem like it was the right thing to do. More buildings. Wait, what does Cloud think about Sephiroth just now, though? We, he literally went, hey, look, Sephiroth, and then nothing. He didn't even acknowledge- oh, that's not Sephiroth. 
it just sort of ended. Now that we're out of the combat area, we should switch up Barrett's weapon. Here, little chocobo, it's right here. Five Moogle medals, you shouldn't have. Thank you. We need to find a weapon for Tifa ASAP too. Gatling gun, high caliber rifle. Did you automatically equip the materia I had before? I think so. Thanks. Staggering Charge. Increases overcharge reload when staggering enemies, unflinching overcharge. Makes it harder to be interrupted when using overcharge. I'll just do that. I don't have enough materia. Lightning. I can probably buy an autocast, but I didn't buy it yet. So something to do when I go back later on. For now though, some birds over there. Oh. I think we might have to disembark. Or actually we can still go up on the chocobo here. Can we? Or it's kind of hard. Just a random building. Mist Vale Reservoir. Well, I can see a chest there already. That's good. There's three around here, apparently. And a lot of beasts. Oh no, I wanted the... Ch <laughs> I didn't want to attack all of you, but all right. No, give me that one box. Oh, they won't give me the box. Are you kidding me? Seriously? What are you guys weak against anyway? Fire. Everyone's weak against fire. Hmm. I was just checking the ability descriptions. We really don't need any materia anymore then. We can get free elementals just by using those skills. Tifa, how you doing? That's it. Here, bring it. No, 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 no. Oh man. Tifa. Let me handle this. You're up. I'll take care of them. No, no, no. Chrono Aegis. Not so fast. You can do it. I got this. <sighs> Moving on then. Okay, this is a little facility. Not exactly what I was coming here for. Yes, yes, I got you. I'm just trying to get the chests and all that first. If you'll let me. There's three here, apparently. I thought I wasn't doing this. I thought I wasn't collecting the caches. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, the same as usual is what I'm doing. What's the area? Is it only in this circle or can it be elsewhere? That's not what I'm not quite sure about. Oh yeah, I see. There's one here. Other way. And then what? One more... Somewhere. Somewhere. Perhaps upstairs. That would be really good. Do you want to be upstairs? Thank you! So the area is actually quite big. The area to get the caches. And here we go. Another life spring. Yes. Get all of that. Thank you, birdie. That should be the next codex thingy. That's the last life spring, isn't it? No, one more. 
the mithril mind changing with the times. Let's read about it. A natural passage through the mountains between Junon and the grasslands, this mine has long served as a rich source of mithril. The mineral boasts an exquisite shimmer and remarkable strength, and was historically used to fashion the very finest weapons and armor, but it fell out of favor when Shinra developed superior synthetic materials. After the mine was closed, the Republic of Junon converted it into a tunnel for the general public, allowing travel to and from the grasslands. The glistening mithril deposits drew regular sightseers as well. Following Shinra's triumph over the Republic, however, the tunnel has been effectively abandoned. Various sections have fallen into disrepair, and the depths are host to untold dangers. I get the sense that outside of the cities, everywhere is basically dangerous now because of all the irradiated fiends and creatures and whatnot. Mm hmm. So that's, I think that's it. That's it for this area for now, until we actually decide to cross the swamps for real. Okay. Alright. Then you know what, in this case... <sighs> Let's get the caches. <laughs> oh, you can even fast travel to this directly, that's so nice. Yeah, there's some caches somewhere around here. I do want some high potions, especially since it does cost a little bit to craft and all. And we found one already. Not so bad. But the other one... Because the area in which you can see it in... Oh. We just passed it. It can only be... Here-ish, I guess? I'm guessing. Judging based off... The thing appearing on the top... Left corner. Oh. There you go. Not too bad. We were doing so much that it just didn't even make any sense to leave this alone. <laughs> Alright. Now what? Now we have a few more things. Oh, now we get our revenge is what? Let's do this one first, because I want to save my revenge for last. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, buddy. Don't be smart with me. Let me ride. Buddy! Don't just get caught on random stuff. Am I still going the right way? Yeah, I, I'm gonna go around the pipe, right? I think I can do that? How's my health looking? Um, maybe okay for the Levercon. Maybe. Right, right, right. This is new, I think. Ye yes. Do you hear that? Do you? Do you feel anything special when we come near these places, Aerith? I would have thought you would, but I'm not sure. We're very close to finishing up everything. Cloud! Upon analyzing the data from the life spring, I was able to locate a new transmuter chip. It's among the refuse left over from the pipeline's construction. Though a touch far from your current location, it's a rather short chocobo ride. Where is it? Oh! That's it. Was that where the flowers were? I think? Well, I'll go there later on then because I do want to get my revenge since we're right here anyway. But can I- can I jump down from here? That might not be a thing. We might have to... go around. Oh, come on, man. Really? That might be easier for me to just go here then. Okay, in that case, why don't I just go there first? <laughs> Changing my mind every three seconds. Pipeline Depository. What am I looking for? Oh, it's unearthing artifacts again. Okay. 
It's okay, I got this, I got this. Pico, just calm down. Camaraderie earrings, transmuter chip. That's the first one. Buddy, you got it? Somewhere around the corner. Hey! Turn this way, Pico. Oh, another one! Basic accessories. High power wrist guards. Cool. And bulletproof vest. And magical earrings. Just suddenly figured out how to do all that all in one go. Inside the pipe, maybe? Well, it has to be inside the pipe, right? No? I inside another pipe? Yes. So many obstacles here. And there you go. Damn, that was a lot of stuff. Can we make any of this right now? Your chocobo dug up everything in the area. Oh, we're so close! Look at all those yellow circles! So close to being done. <laughs> I was just thinking, Pico is not a car. So yeah, I guess it makes a little bit of sense that we can't just get Pico to stop and start whenever we want. Alright. In terms of the transmuter... We can make, uh, high- Oh, we can make high potions now, yes! But we don't have planet's favor, that's right. Which is needed, apparently, for everything. <laughs> huh, this whole item transmuter business, it's not some scrappy thing that we're meant to do on the fly. This is basically the primary way that we're going to be using to get new materials and equipment, I guess, as opposed to buying it. I thought we would be... But then what, what are we going to use our money for, then? <laughs> Maybe we can buy it as well. See, this one needs to get a Quattle Talon. You want me to fight another one of those? Really? That seems like a bit much. I can make a bulletproof vest. Make two. Should I? Yes, because it uses the original bulletproof vest. Magical earrings. Can Aerith just wear it right away? Talisman of Focus. Hones one's concentration level to a meditative level. Max MP spirit. Okay, craftsmanship level 6. Fantastic. Are you already... No, I have to switch out your stuff. Ma magical earrings. This one increases max MP by 3. Good. The bulletproof vest, I don't think anyone's wearing right now. Should someone be? What kind of thing is it considered as? It's like a necklace. Okay. Eh, that's so Shinra. <laughs> that's so Shinra. It doesn't look like... Can we see the amount of... Oh, this doesn't have any materia thingies at all. No, I see, I see. Increases strength, increases vitality by 5. You know, this would actually be good for Cloud. Yeah. Barret. Power wrist guards. Mm-hmm. Whistle wind scarf. Slightly fills ATB gauge at the start of battle. That would also be good for Cloud, if not just because it's good for Assess in the beginning. But I'll do power... Oh, he's already doing power wrist guards. Okay. Sounds good to me. Okay. Back to getting our revenge then. Something like that. But we... I don't think we have a, a way to solve the whole Toad problem yet. Okay, guys. Gloves up. Rare Leprechaun variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. Oh, Observe we've heard this. <laughs> powerful appendages. These impressive legs not only allow it to run down prey in the blink of an eye, but also hurl rocks with tremendous force. And if that doesn't scare you, this variant is capable of spewing a toxin that transforms its quarry into a frog, its favorite snack. Whether this qualifies it as a true gourmet or merely 
a picky eater is still a matter of contention. Whatever the case may be, further research could help us to understand how its diet sustains its physique. So get in there and give it a good beating, without being KO'd, of course. All the sentence structures for introducing the enemies are all the same. We want this research so we can figure this out. Okay, I got it. Mm, I don't actually have a plan for the whole getting turned into a toad thing, though. Which makes me a little bit worried. I just want to check. Clout, the spells we have. Can I see who has what spells? Actually, I can't see them when I'm walking around. I think red... I don't think we have the spell for erasing toad, but uh, I'll figure it out. Pressure, stagger. I know you can, do this. can we stop the toad? Dodge it. Something like that. Have I already been turned into a toad? Really? I haven't even assessed it yet. Yeah, I haven't even assessed it yet because I used to... Who is a toad? Who's a toad? Is it red? It's not Cloud. I got your number. Oh! Cloud! <laughs> it's red. You can see red, the little toad there. A rare Levercon variant capable of spewing a toxin that transforms its quarry into a frog. Because it does not have teeth, it swallows stones aid in the digestion of its prey. Fire and ice. I'm sorry, Red. I, uh, I need to just figure this out. Let me just pressure you and all that first. Oh. Poiss yeah, Poissona? We don't, we don't have it. We need the next level of this one, right? Hold up. Cloud, you need the... Fireball Blade! Oh, come! Seriously? Are you okay? Aerith? Burning up. I'll take care of them. Too much? Wow! Okay. Oh. <laughs> Aerith pressured them all by herself because she had <laughs> shed fire. <laughs> this isn't great. No, no, no! That was a frog ability, right? A neuron fluid. How's Red doing? Is he back yet? After you. Red is still a frog. I'll show you what I can do. This is a problem. Fight through it. I need to pressure them now. I got this. No, no, I need to stagger them now. I got the pressure. I need to stagger. Someone! Anyone! We do it! Need help. Looking good. I'm going in. This okay. You. Red is back. Yeah, this is a bit of a. <laughs> How did things turn out like this? And we're back. Bring Cloud back if you can. Is that oh, shoot. So Aerith is actually Aerith is a frog and she's unconscious, but we're so close to staggering this. It is staggered. It is actually just staggered now. Let's finish this. Good timing. Now we have to defeat them within 50 seconds. Which we can do for sure, right? I think we might be fine, but Cloud has very little health left. We gotta go from behind, because it's doing that rock throw. Side Winder. Side Winder? Winder. All comes down to this. <laughs> feeding time there. Yes, you're right. Feeding time. Wildfire. Wind current. <laughs> Steal something right now. Just, just kill it. All objectives completed. We've accrued a lot of great data. Thanks to you. Director of Regional Intelligence. Thank you. Yeah, we didn't have a way to do- <laughs> Every single person got turned into a toad in this fight, I think. Except for Cloud? Bravo! That was an extraordinary display! The data you collected will prove invaluable. In fact, we've already used it to produce a new combat trial. Check it out! What? I see that Mai has already covered everything. Which means I have nothing to add at this time. Good. You could stand to talk a little bit less. All right. Well, that was a... Uh... Hey, that was true teamwork. Everyone put in a little something. When you were a toad, I would attack someone else. That's what a true team is. There's no I in team, blah, 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 so on and so forth. 
Okay. Love seeing that at the very bottom left corner, everything is gathered already. Fantastic. Now I'm looking at the top left corner. Five out of five quests. Two out of three... Is that Queen's Blood? Is there more Queen's Blood somewhere that I missed? Oh! Nene! Sounds like a good one to head to next. Hey, I don't think I've been to this little corner of town before. I don't really recognize it. Nene is somewhere around here, but... Whoa, whoa, whoa! This is for him! Hey, quit it! <laughs> Actually, we're a pretty good match. What? <laughs> you hussy! Oh! Excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> In more ways than one. Maybe. What? This is for him. Hey, quit it. Did they just fall in love after getting mad about the same guy? <laughs> <laughs> what is Actually, happening here? Pretty good I don't know. Oh, I think I missed this corner of town. I don't recognize this. Do you? Yeah. That's a sign that I've missed it cuz I I haven't opened that chest before. Hold up, Nene. I am Baron Tilegate. I've bombed the interview. I'm never gonna get the job at this rate. I just wish I knew what I was doing wrong. Why are you so hung up on getting a job in Midgar? Just take over your family's Everyone business. Besides, you've already built up a life here. No, I've dreamt of being a honey boy my entire life. Oh. And I'm not gonna give up now. <laughs> Is a honey boy somebody that works at the Honey Bee Inn? A the rising star of calm. Don't miss Akira's homecoming concert. Adored in Wall Market and the world over, his silky smooth voice is sure to stir your soul. Akira. Hey, Calm. How y'all doing today? He's it all yeah, it's me, your boy Akira. Still with Shinra Records, too. It's been a long seven years since I hit the road, and the world hasn't always been kind. But I never lost sight of my guiding light. Even when the plate was blocking my view, <laughs> I always knew that one day, I'd make it big and come back a star. <laughs> Haven't quite yet, but I'm working on it. Even though I left Midgar behind, my journey won't end here. No, sir. It's only just begun. I dedicate this next song to all you guys and gals still finding your way. Gotta walk on. I really hope this isn't copyrighted. Oh, clouds clapping too. Damn. Oh, I'm sort of like. I need a spot in the audience. You think we can get him to perform at the Harvest Festival? We can't go in the. Oh, we can be here. Damn. I wish you had a live band, though. Oh, I was gonna say this is picture-worthy, but you don't sing when I'm taking a picture. Why do you think this- Has this not happened to any of the playtesters? Like, this very ugly texture vine being right in my face when I'm trying to listen to the music. The women are screaming louder than the song. <laughs> Which is exactly what it's like at concerts. You think we can get him to perform at the Harvest Festival? This is just what I needed. Gotta say, that outfit's got some dazzle. Really? 
he just seems like a regular dude. Oh, well. I, I would love to stay and listen to the whole thing, but that woman screaming is killing me. <laughs> Don't miss Akira's homecoming concert. Homecoming. Born in Wall Market and the world over. His silky smooth voice is sure to stir your soul. Ah. So he, he used to be at he he came from Calm. A homecoming concert is a very common term if you pay attention to Japanese stuff. Like people going back to their own prefecture is the saying and stuff like that. Oh, oh yes, this is uh, the autumn vendor. Hello, and welcome to my humble shop. I don't come to this part of Calm very often, no wonder. Now! Ooh, can I buy some materia? Oh, you... your booster packs are sold out too. What? Sh should I buy more? I think I should. Everyone having cure can't be a bad thing. <laughs> is that a correct thing to think? But fire and ice I feel like are gonna be helpful though because it seems like a lot of things in nature are weak towards fire and ice. I know this buy like that casually, sure. Do I want more potions? Thanks! Nah. Hope to see you again soon. Okay, so I have been this way before. I gotta go and find Nene. I don't think I've Oh, not this side. They have a little Venice kind of thing going on with the boats and all. Cool. And that's how you get back in town. Oh, I just kind of missed out on this little section. Okay, I'm going to do my material while I'm here. Who has empty slots? Lightning. Auto unique ability. So that doesn't, that doesn't link, actually, but... A. You can heal. No, you know what? Tifa, Tifa can heal herself. Tifa can also cure her own poison. Fire? Sure. Seems good to me. Now where is Nene? I am Baron Kylegate, and I will make you rue the day you decided to cross me, Shinra. Now squirm like the worms you are. <laughs> Everyone loves a good revenge tale. I've outdone myself. Throw what you will at me, world. I'll spin it into pure gold. You a script writer? You're allowed to say that in public? Down with Shinra? <laughs> a little birdie told me you can't get enough of that card game, Queen's Blood. Yeah, it's true. Alright, how's about we give these two-bit chubs a whooping? Mr. Cuddlesworth. Hello, you don't even have chairs here. Oh, looky here. I'd say we got ourselves a contender. So how about it, pretty boy? You wanna throw down? But first, let me introduce you to Nene, Master Ventriloquist. Now, she ain't much of a talker, but give her a deck of cards and she'll wipe the floor with you so fast, it'll make your head spin. Ready to get your ass handed to you? Well, are ya? Mr. Cuddlesworth doesn't even have a mouth. Oh, this is gonna increase my ranking. Blood Servant. I did get the Chocobo earlier. I wonder if it would be good to incorporate that in my deck. In place of what? I guess I can take away maybe like a Levercon or something, sure. Fat Chocobo. I've got a lot to try. This one. Sure. Check that out. Let's tr oh, and then we get the Cactuar. If we win against her. Sounds good to me. Alright, cards the mulligan. I think I'm actually pretty okay with this. I think. What if I do this instead? What's the difference between the security officer and the chocobo and Moogle? At this point. The security officer has one extra spot in the back, but it's hard to get that spot in the back. Raise power by one for each other enhanced allied card. I don't really have that right now. Okay. Keep advancing forward. Hog as many spots on the map as possible. Mm-hmm. 
another another thing to watch out for the strategy is that if we put down a thing, like say if we put down the crystalline crab here, then the the spot in the top lane, they're not gonna be able to get it back because they already put a wolf next to it. They can't do anything about it. So that's my spot now, for good. Same thing happened right here. I got this spot first, but then they took it back with a crab. Um, hmm. They have six in the first row already. Maybe I should just abandon it. But I can do a Titan. I can do a Titan and get a, a seven. And then I've got it. No. I can't put a 7. No, I can't do that here because it's level 2. I see. Okay. In that case... I have too many level 2s right now, I think. Hmm. Let's go forward a little bit first. Wait, I don't have any... Um... Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll put this... I'll put this here. Can Grasslands wolf that spot? Yeah, they can't take it back. That's fine. Here? Kind of same, different... Oh, this one, this one. And then... I think we've won? Right, now it's about filling the board. The bottom lane, I... They can put down one more card. I've won the middle lane already. So all I have to do is guarantee winning the top lane. Which I'm pretty sure I can. We're good. They might win... Oh, they haven't even won the bottom lane, we're done. We're good. Thank you. Thank you for the match. Please give me your Cactuar now. Raise power of allied cards on the affected tiles by three while this card is in play. That's really good, but that that spot is so strange. It's not really even adjacent to the Cactuar. Phew, this guy packs one hell of a punch. But hey... You can't win them all. Besides, what really matters is you were brave enough to take on a bona fide card shark like Pretty Boy here. Sometimes you gotta take the L if you're serious about upping your game. Listen, kid, you got what it takes to be a champ. I bet my bottom gill on it. Now why don't you show Blondie your appreciation for being such a good sport? Thank you for playing cards with me, mister. <laughs> Are you practicing your uh, ventriloquism? Or... I don't know, stage acting skills? Huh, just so you know, Nene and her cards are ready for a game. If you got the guts. But thank you for the match, although I'm not really sure if I'm a, a card shark, as you call it. Oh, what's the matter? You scared? A little. 